food we eat. We need food to live and grow, work and play, protect us from illness, strengthen our bones and muscles. Nutrients present in the food help us to meet all these needs. Eat healthy. What is a healthy diet? A healthy diet provides a variety of nutrients through a balanced intake from a wide range of foods. Different types of nutrients Nutrients Fats Proteins Vitamins Minerals Carbohydrates. Let us have a look at each nutrient one by one. Energy nutrient Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are one of the main energy sources for the body. They are made up of starch, sugar, and fiber. Kids need a lot of energy, especially during the growing years. Foods containing carbohydrates not only provide energy but also supply other nutrients such as vitamins and minerals. Essential and Occasional Carbohydrates Choose Essential over Occasional Essential Carbohydrates Occasional Carbohydrates Energy Nutrient Fats A common misconception among people is that fats are very harmful for the body. But the fact is that fats provide more energy than carbohydrates. Fats are required for the absorption of certain vitamins. Vegetable and animal fat are two kinds of fats. Fried foods and those made with ghee, butter or cheese are rich in fats. Low-fat diets are recommended for older children and adults. These fats, however, should come from the right source. Energy Nutrient Fats Essential Fats Smart Options Occasional Fats Temptations Eat foods that contain fats and other nutrients. Avoid foods that are high in fat but are low in nutritive value. Bodybuilding Proteins Protein is present in every cell of our body. These proteins help young children to grow and become strong and tall. The following food items are rich in protein. Milk, yogurt, cheese, chicken, fish, red beans and peanut butter. Bodybuilding Proteins Smart Options Temptations Other Nutrients Vitamin and Minerals Keep Us Healthy and Free From Diseases Vitamins Green Leafy Vegetables and Fruits Are Rich in Vitamins
vitamins are of different types like vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D and so on which we get from a variety of food items. Sunlight is a good source of vitamin D. Minerals Minerals help in bone and teeth formation and help to purify the blood. Vegetables, fruits, milk and meat are good sources of minerals. Water, salt and dietary fiber Water Water is vital for a healthy body. It plays an important role in digestion, regulating body temperature, carrying nutrients to cells, protecting bone joints and internal organs. Children should at least drink a litre of water every day. Salt. Children require just 2 to 3 grams of salt daily. More than that can be harmful. Salt contains sodium which when eaten in excess can cause high blood pressure. Check for sodium content in processed and packaged foods. Choose fresh foods over processed foods. Dietary Fibre Dietary fibre or roughage can be obtained from vegetables, fruits and whole grains. They hold water and make it easier for food to pass easily through the intestines. Tasty Food Food can be cooked in different ways. Cooking makes food soft and tasty. Overcooking should be avoided as it destroys the nutrients. Let us look at the different ways of cooking. Boiling One of the simplest and healthiest forms of cooking. Teeming Preserves most of the nutrients present in food items. Baking or roasting The heat cooks the food items. Frying Not a very healthy way of cooking. Microbes Microbes are tiny living plants or animals that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Types of Microbes Bacteria Protozoa Fungi Viruses There are useful microbes and harmful microbes. Useful microbes. Fungi such as yeast are used to ferment dough. Some bacteria help in curdling milk. Some bacteria and fungi that feed on dead and decaying plants help make the soil fertile. 
Some microbes are used to make medicines. Harmful microbes Some microbes grow on uncovered food and reduce the nutritive value of food. Some microbes cause diseases like typhoid, pneumonia and tuberculosis. Some protozoa cause dysentery and malaria. Some fungi cause ringworm and stomach infection. Some viruses cause measles, polio and common cold. Germs are microbes that can cause disease. Germs are so small and sneaky that they creep into our bodies without being noticed. What kind of food do you have often? This or this? Recap